The University of Lagos is situated in Yaba. Yaba is like a city, basically. Like, it's a city, really. So you have access, like there are some, there are buses, like shuttles that you can take directly to the markets to get things you need. It's a very busy area, very, very busy area. So it's not like a really far out. There are some universities in Nigeria that are in very, very far locations, but the University of Lagos is central in Yaba and Lagos is a very, is a bustling city and you're not missing out on anything. It's close to the island if you want to get to the island where like, there's usually the galleries, the exhibition halls and things like that. You can easily get there. It's a very central place, very, the, one of the most central places in Lagos. At the University of Lagos, um, there are school hostels. So uh, taken from my perspective as a student, I would get ready from my hostel and the departments are usually a walk away. So I take a walk to the school and the lectures sometimes start 7, 7.30, 8 in the morning. So I get ready for the day and can have as many as two to three lectures a day depending on what it is. And for my department, it's, um, there's a theory aspect and there's a practical aspect. So we have some theory classes and I get ready for that. And there's some practical classes and I get the work done for those. And there's, yeah, we have breaks in between. So you can go to the cafeteria to get some food. And there's also a food nightlife. So after all the, everything is done in the day, you can get some street food and you, set, uh, you settle in for the day. And depending on what time of the semester it is, there are also some um, extracurricular activities like concerts, events, pop-ups, and different activities you can engage in as a student too. Um, at my department for creative arts, there is sculpture, ceramics, graphics design, textile design, and painting. So under these, for painting, there are good lecturers that take you on the different techniques. Like they try to train you from the basics with drawing, like drawing classes are compulsory. So they take you from drawing with painting. For sculpture classes, there are equipment you can use for um, metals and um, um, clay works, and, yeah, casting works, metal works, we have that there and there's a kiln for the ceramic studio where you can do your pottery or um, ceramic sculptures and um, fire it there also. For the textile design studio, we have a lecturer that takes you the courses, they give you the materials you need to study and you get to learn the techniques also. For graphics design, there is a studio space so you get to just do your work on your computer and interact with other students. But it's a very um, friendly environment, really. Cultural life is very interesting. Like Nigeria is, has um, so many different tribes. Like we have over 200, I believe, tribes. And so it's very diverse cultures and people also from different countries like Ghana, some Uganda also come to study at our university, so you meet like a different range of people. So there's usually less judgment. People are more open and more understanding with each other. And there's also different types of food you can eat. <laughs> there's also um, Chinese Indian students at school, so many different people at school also. So you, there's always a mix of cultures. And in terms of artistic life, there is exhibitions that you do, and for the second year students they get to plan an exhibition by themselves with the supervision from a lecturer there's that and also for the final year students and the lecturers like to also take the students on exhibition trips to meet with some galleries gallerists and some curators once in a while and one thing that's really good about the department is like they like to carry the students along when it comes to university activities like if there's a event happening for the university because the university is huge it's not just the creative arts department there's science there's economics there's law and other um, 
department so that if there's an event going on they like to carry the creative art students along to maybe show their works or act a play things like that because my department has three um, sections the music the visual and the theater Be open. Be open. Be open. <laughs> I learned how to be more individualistic in my time here and getting things done by yourself. And I also learned a lot with the workshops, with the, <clears throat> the teachers here. And yeah, it was a very enlightening time. I learned a lot more during my time here. It's a bit different. You have to be, it's very community based because um, we depend on each other a lot for some things that you might not be able to get yourself. Like for an example I'll give is um, for materials now. I'm a textile student at my university. If we want to get materials um, for, let's say tie dye, usually to save time and to help people that do not have so much also save money, we tend to buy as a group. So we get these things as a group or as um, it saves you material and if something is left, you can give to someone else that might need. So it's usually a very community-based thing. Like everyone and everyone knows what's going on with you. Like <laughs> you're never really alone. Like if they don't, someone doesn't see you for like a day or two, they're like, oh, what what's going on with this person? And here it's a bit different, um, yeah. Like um, at school, there's um, there's one of my works that is a wooden piece. I do not really know so much about, um, you know, cotton wood and stuff. So I depend sometimes on a friend that is good with this to help me with, oh, how do I cut this? How do you get the materials? And some of them are nice enough to give you the wood for free. And I don't have to buy this by myself and then over time you get to know how to do it by yourself the placement like they they devote time also to you and same for me also if someone needs help with textile work i also give that time and show them what to do also so it always reflects there's always a piece of each other pe person in the work <laughs> 